guys it's Shannon welcome to my crazy corner I told you you never knew what I was gonna be recording so today I've been pulled away from my table because mr. J say hi mr. J hello where are we going today going to a food show what are we gonna see at the food show food well, what kind of food uh, seafood burgers steaks bread salads anything else we might see people well other than people <laughs> <laughs> no so no pots and pans or stoves or anything like that on this one uh yes that's a possibility all right so i will pop back in i'm gonna pause it right here so where he can focus and i don't distract him and anyway, i think i'm gonna try to anyway <laughs> and I will pop back in as soon as we get there and you guys can check out what a food show looks like so welcome to the food show guys yeah feel free to take plenty of pictures if you see something because a lot of times what you see may have an item code number okay. and it gives us a reference okay. Sam what we've done here is we are not we're trying to beat you uh, over the top top mm -hmm. something that's different. Mm -hmm. So we're not just doing your standard. Hey, how you doing, man? Standard Hope you're hungry. I'm Pick up, you know, pick up what you can, eat what you can. Okay. Uh, but like I said, we're trying to show differentiating items. So, right. Uh, outside the box. And so gotcha. I mentioned we have a CB short rib. Right. And there's also a lamb. Check out the food, guys. Show you that. Right, right. Yummy. I'm going to pause here because I'm going to get me some food. This food looks delicious. Can't, yeah, gotta get your veggies in. Cookies. Cookies, anyone? <laughs> Ooh, we got some strawberry and cheesecake. Oh, I see some chocolate cheesecake. Chocolate. One word. Chocolate. Who wants chicken finger? Baby. Is that chicken finger? That sounds like a chicken finger. Oh no, it's not like this Oh, hamburgers in the morning. If you guys were here, you would be hungry. It smells so good in here. Good morning. I'm assuming red velvet cake. Gotta have your sauces when you come to a food show. Ooh, for you vegetarians. Fruit crystals. What's that about, baby? Gives a little crunch on the salad. Sprinkle these on the salad. Gives a little crunch. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Sounds very interesting. You know, instead of croutons or anything like that, you get a little crunch of uh, fruit. And I see some ginger going on over here mm -hmm. for those sushi lovers. Gotta have your veggies. The whole produce. Let's see. What else can we see? Got our juices. Anyway, unique item. Hmm. What is that? Watermelon radish. 
course, you tried the, the right. crunch. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure that is the crunch, but it looks like it. Right. We put our harissa sauce on it right now, which is a blend of like three peppers, jalapeno, and sun dried tomato. Mm -hmm. And then, I don't know if I've been by, I know I went by and showed you extra before, but I can't remember if I showed you the Beyond Burger, did I? No. Okay. So this is our Beyond Burger if you familiar with it. Mm -hmm. Plant-based. It's gluten-free. Some of the ones out there aren't gluten-free, but it's made with pea protein, and it's got beet extract in there that gives it its color, so it stays pink. Right. That's not really very pink, but it does. And it comes in four and six ounce. So it's so vegan. Is that a six ounce? Yeah, that's six ounce. It's vegan. Wow. That's and, a thick um, six ounce. <laughs> yeah, and it's pliable enough that you can flatten it some while it's cooking. You can also make meatballs or mini meatloaves out of it and stuff like that, too. Okay. Um, and because it's vegan, so that's a new brioche bun that we have, Ooh. and it's eggless. So it can be considered vegan, too. Wow, did I try a bit of that? Uh-huh. It's plain, but if you want, here's ketchup. Yeah, still yet. Do they have something that's vegan? I don't think so. Okay. That's, if you want ketchup and mustard, that's nah, plain. Right like this. What do you think? This is like a burger. We're really excited about that line, and all of them have that same thickness. So with mm -hmm. six ounce four ounce, you know, they still come with the same thickness. You want to see the burger? Mm, that's tasty. You can, you can Make some money off of that. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Red Robin. I don't go to those kind of places, but they sent me a free one for my birthday, so we went. And they charge three extra dollars for their burger, for their vegan burger. Right. Yeah. And they're already charging like ten, twelve dollars for a burger, so an extra three dollars. Yeah, gluten free, vegetarian, more, more money. It costs mm. more, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we were I mean, you'd have to. And people expect to pay. I mean, they, they're, they're not, you know, they kind of expect it. Cause right. I'll take a bite of our chicken that's chicken nugget. <laughs> You're kidding me. No, sir. That, I, I, that one I'm curious exactly. about. <laughs> You're curious about that? I'm curious about that And one. i got to be honest with you, it tastes just like a McDonald's chicken nugget. <laughs> These are real chicken. <laughs> Dark meat. Uh, There's some chicken bites. Mm -hmm. So they come pre-breaded. Okay. Yeah, okay. It tastes like a chicken nugget. <laughs> it tastes like a chicken nugget. Chicken nugget. Plant based. Wow. Yeah, so it's vegetarian, not vegan, because there's milk and uh, egg in it. Right. right. Mm. It's where we're coming to. It's a tempura battle like a McDonald's nugget. Right. <laughs> I know we're in North Carolina and everybody loves their beef before. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. You know, 15, 20 years from now, that's what our kids are going to be eating, man. Veg burger and that. I let her eat it. I'll stick to the real meat. <laughs> they can eat all they want. <laughs> yeah. Mm. That's the extra milk, the new extra milk for American slices, and then we'll take one cheese. I think I mentioned that. Extra milk cheese, uh, so one of our new items. Mm -hmm. This is sliced, just made by Land of Lake. Oh, wow. That's it down there, right? Right. For a yeah, non -meat, meat burger that does taste like a good burger. One of those, and it's um, like an upsell, and it's because it's got a real nice um, flavor and a really good amount. And we put it on our wheat berry bread. You guys use frozen bread, fresh bread? Fresh bread. <laughs> Ever tried any frozen? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've had a couple of uh, gluten free breads, buns that are frozen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not very tasty, but I mean, you know. That's gluten free. Yeah. It's called flavor out. <laughs> We're really wow. excited about Flowers Bakery and their frozen breads. Um, if you got the bread guy coming in the back door, it's an extra invoice. Yeah. You're dropping off a truck two or three times. Right. When this crop comes into you, it goes straight on your bread shelf, not in your freezer, so it's not taking up freezer space. You're going to get a seven to, day, seven to ten day shelf life out of it. As soon as you thaw that product, you fold it 24 hours, you leave it in the bag, it brings the moisture back, and you've got uh, first day fresh bread. As opposed to the bread guy, who, no offense to him, right. I'm sure he's a great dude, he's bringing you a nice product, but he gets there with three day old bread by the time you even see it. So, it's just something to think about, something to try, and not okay. to mention the different. The, the different sizes and styles that we have in bread gotcha. really make your menu unique. So. Mm. I love that Asian style. Yeah. That that's our sauce. with the honey sriracha sauce down there. Honey, uh -oh. so got, that's available uh -oh. as well. We're going in. Oh, wow. And the new gochujang. You familiar with sriracha? Oh yeah. And that just blew up a few years, you know, about five or six years ago and became a big thing. Watch Gochujang. It's going to be your next big thing. Oh, that's good.
That's good, huh? Oh yeah, that's a good one. All right. My way this way. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hmm. Um, is that the golden juice on down? We did. We did a honey syrup. Oh, okay. Try that. Right, go ahead. Go dessert. ahead. We're going to shop around. We'll be here for a minute. Okay. You're looking for any kind of little dark starches. Dessert. Dessert. We've got a little bit of velvet and a carrot cake, and that one's both cream cheese frosting. Mm -hmm. um, they're nice even for like birthday giveaways and stuff. Or for two people to share. Um, they're 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 uh, right. Um, we have a new Eggles mayonnaise. It's really good. I've been using it at home, so I can tell people the things I've been doing with it. I've used some hot applications. I've used it for chicken salad and things like that. Yep, it works really good. Um, you can't tell. My husband can't tell. Interesting. Eggless mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. Then we've got some new sauces. Honey sauce is going to be tried. Right. That was actually really good. There's seven grams of protein and three grams of fiber, and the grains are all throughout, so it's not just on the top. Oh, wow. wow. Mm. Mm. Uh, we do all the meat and the uh, fish and all that stuff. Right. And then my premium frying oil. It's a little blend, and we go to the last place longer. Okay. We also have a hot one. Five, two, get one, three, coupon that lasts that you can use once a year on the oil. Yeah, y'all, some of these. He's listening. <laughs> but that's just right. That is true. I like that sauce. It's not Fantastic too sweet, not too spicy. It's okay. just right on the spice. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, that is good. I like that. I'm sitting here thinking, chicken wing, that was thin it. <laughs> nice. A cheeky, cheeky, cheeky wing. Sam, mm. I think you may have used this or. Yeah. Yeah, Not yet, he's used yeah, it. I've used it. Uh, you don't mind. No, no. That is not Dr. Yes, it's only for you. So we're the we're the exclusive people on this one. Okay. I don't think US has got this. No, no. So in fact it's for you. And then we also have a a free bottle. Order, like get one free. And it also works. This is a McCormick rebate program as well. Oh, nice. We partner with McCormick, all our Cisco Imperial uh, stuff, and there is a uh, a rebate program. I don't think I'm taking advantage of that. I don't believe so. Okay. These are these are just rolling in and coming into stock now. Dollar food season. You need spice racks or anything like that. We have all those for you. Are oh, these samples where somebody can take them? Not just anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you offer them to whoever you want to. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Yeah, why not? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Your cup of tea. Mm -hmm. Hello, gentlemen. You like the cleaning stuff? How are you guys doing? Doing well. How are you? Good. Where are you guys at? Uh, Rally Point Sports Grill. Okay. Carrie. Do you guys use Eco Lab now? Yes. Okay. Well, they're, I've used that product right there several using, times. Well, their machine is Pure Force, right? Yeah. Are you getting that directly from Pure Force or are you getting it from somebody else? I think it comes from the U.S. Okay. Okay. So you've seen a lot of these products. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, do you use a full program or do you just use the dish machine? Do you use like our pocket hand stuff and all that? You know, I really don't know about that technical stuff. You know, yeah. just work in the kitchen. Oh, if gotcha. it works, it works. That's yeah. it. You know, whoever okay. comes in and pays the bills or whatever. That's right. Well, if there's anything on the table that you have a question about, okay. I'll let you know. I know it's a lot of stuff. All right. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you. 
Hey, I thought that was you. How you doing? I'm yeah, standing behind you for like I am going to pause this. <laughs> you were deep in conversation. I'm like, oh, let Sam do his. Doing all right? Yeah. Good. We're checking out the cheeses. Here's a nice, would be a nice upgrade to your. Uh... Yeah, we looked at those before. <laughs> I just can't justify, you know. Spend it's, that type of money for the away. It's, it, it's <laughs> perception. It's what the customer perceives ultimately. What are you using right raising, now? Raising Basics the value. Real picks. picks. Yeah. Just go, just switch to the, the picks without the frills. So, yeah, the, the frills are uh, 60s, 1960s, 70s. Mm -hmm. All right. You're peeking at something. What you peeking at? Right. I love all this. That is a 365 day age per shoot. Mm. Now we also stock a 600 day, which is called Il Numero Uno. But for me to get samples of that, yeah. Kind of, that oh yeah, it's a 600 day. <laughs> I can't imagine. That's what I'm putting in there. Oh, mm. what you're putting here? Yep, that's, that's okay. What, what is this? Black Mission Fix. Okay. Dried. That's in stock item. Don't actually kill. It's just salt. Oh, that one melts in your mouth. Mm -hmm. It really does. I mean, it's naturally, I mean, it's just, I don't know what about the process that does it, but it's so, it's greasy, but I hate using the word greasy. It's just like, right. it's oily and it's it's buttery. I mean. It does, it melts in your mouth. Oh, you know what they really, say, fattest really flavors. It is. This is very popular, especially in the Durham area, but uh, it's, it's Irish back bacon. We're seeing there's an increase in All right, you said bacon. bacon. Yeah. What makes it the back bacon is the fact that, I mean, technically, there's only one bacon, and that's belly. Right. But this is the pork loin. That this, looks like this, a ribeye. This is the back. It's the same muscle. It's so yeah, just his dorsi. So this is the back of it right here. So we're coming coming up to the top of the bacon instead of the bottom. Right. But they don't consider it back bacon unless it's all attached. Oh, it's got more meat than regular bacon, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's, it's technically steakier. Yeah. It's got a nice chew to it. Not as much fat. Mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. thing you try, did you try these cheese curds? What? Try one of those. This is perfect. Like gastro pub type food. Cheese curds? These are the curds. This oh, is a prairie are... breeze. This is a, a, an English style cheddar that's been aged so oh, much wow. you can feel the salt crystals in it. That's one of my favorite cheeses of all time. Give me, give me, give me. It punches you right in the mouth. It really does. I remember. The these cheese cheese cakes are phenomenal. I put mm. these things on, crew, on Caesar salads in lieu of croutons, so now I got a gluten free. Mm -hmm. Poutines with them, you can top burgers with it. We can bread them and fry them. You bread them and fry those and like, oh, like, I was just like cook some bacon. Mm -hmm. It's all like drained and everything, throw it in the food processor, turn it to dust, and then put that over the cheese curds. There's mm. nobody on the world who would turn that down. We're talking about that idea of this uh, processing bacon, right? And using that as. Yeah. Meat. This right Ooh. here is a, a pub English style mustard and beer. Style cheese. Mm. I'm curious about that sriracha cheddar. This stuff, in my opinion, like not just get, get away from burgers and stuff like that. Right. This is like pimento cheese, mac and cheese. That's how I kind of see this. Oh yeah. It's real sharp. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's got kind of some sweet undertones to it. Mm -hmm. The flavor of the cheddar and the sriracha mix, yeah. but no kick. Case these, in case anybody ever wants to do a baked brie, they come in these tins so you can literally pop them into like a souffle dish. Yeah. Then throw them in the oven when they come out, put some fig jam on top. Oh wait, there's the heat Actually, in the back. Fig jam down there. Right here. Yeah, I saw that. Try it. It's it's delicious. I got some crostinis over here. With some of the porcini truffle brie cream. You try that with some of that fig jam. It's gonna be really rocking. Mmm. I might have come back to that. <laughs> we have Mr. J in his candy store, people. <clears throat> nah, that's up your alley. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't do horseradish. Yeah. I mean, it's, 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 it's not liquid, but it's not solid. It doesn't have the rind. So all I did is throw some powder, some trouble in it, and then I'm not It's good. <laughs> uh oh, chocolate alert. Chocolate alert. We're pausing here. I'm eating it again. I mean, it's literally out of the freezer. Looks like fried shrimp, but it's not only that, shrimp. 
<laughs> we got the meat. It's Thanks for coming out. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you're fine. That's a little, uh, it's a little more expensive than <laughs> I'd like to do. People are trying to spawn in the story. Can we see steak? Hey, hey, hey! Steak, 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 steak. For a sports bar. For a sports bar? Well, it depends. What kind of selling price point do you want to do? Like, what's your point of paint? Fifteen, eighteen dollars? Nah, lower than that. Lower than that? Yeah. What's I mean, it? It's like dogs, wings, burgers. Dogs, wings, burgers. Yeah. There's still steaks that can be done. There's a steak over here on this blue plate. I got it on a blue plate for a reason. We think blue plate, we think value, right? Right. Mm. What's this, baby? Hmm? Oh, I got here. Mm. Want to try a little plantain with Nutella? Plantain with Nutella. Huh. In the Latin culture, they have the choco bananos, which is the frozen banana with mm -hmm. a... Uh, a Want to share it or no? No, yeah. <laughs> so I took a plantain. I'm bothered. I mixed it in I'm with eating. Nutella. And then I made a chipotle or just a regular fried the steak appetizer. Is delicious. That you won't be able to cut, just take it and dig it. No. I think we showed a yucca bite at one time, didn't we? Say? Yeah, I think you did too. Ago. Yeah. So this is the same type of thing, and they come frozen and ready. Yes, they're already pre, they're par fried. Hmm. There you go. Nice. Hmm. Thank you, chef. <laughs> Gotta have packaging. Have you used this kind of thing before? I don't think so. Anyway, it's an Earth Choice, you know. Oh, I've heard of Earth Choice. Everybody, yeah. you know, a lot of people are going to that kind of thing. There's also this. What do you call this? It's a mineral fill. Mineral fill. So once again, it's one of those... Uh, Better for the environment. Of course it is. Because <laughs> you drop your voice. All your SAS, all your SAS customers mm -hmm. are all aware of this stuff. Yeah, they are. I get uh, a lot of uh, questions about it. Right. Especially in Raleigh. Okay. And it comes in that one compartment. What are you looking at? Oh. So that was the whole room. If there's anything else, I'll chime back in. Alright guys, we're back in the car. Food show is over. It was very informative, don't you think, Mr. J? Yes. Did you learn anything, Mr. J? No. <laughs> what do you mean, no? I didn't learn anything. I've seen it all before. I've <laughs> what been was, to all hundreds of these things. <laughs> what was your favorite part, though? The food. What? Which food? All of it. All the food. I think your favorite actually was the cheesecake, because he handed mm. me a cookie instead of giving me a piece of cheesecake. But the chocolate chip cookie was yummy. It wasn't crunchy. It was nice and moist and fluffy. Mmm. Just like, <laughs> bad, Mr. J. Bad, 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 Mr. J. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm getting off here. If you like what you saw today, hit that like button. If you want to see more of my shenanigans and crazy antics that could ever pop up every once in a while, hit that subscribe button. Other than that, I will see you on the next one. Bye.